Hello everyone, the Eradicatex here, bringing to you another episode on Until Then, where we last left off at that fucking Crocodile's pack, I'm gonna fucking kill it in a second. We basically enough met uh, Catherine in basically a convenience store to basically go over on what the new students are, see if we can find some new eye candy, because basically enough everyone is shocked to believe that Lewis has found a new boyfriend in her life. Once we did, we found out that uh, Calf just likes the rain for some odd reason, and our boy Mark here is still hiding something from us in a weird way, because apparently he may have some deja vu when it comes to the new students. But uh, as I more or less do when it comes to start this game, uh, I do want to apologize in case of spelling mistakes, and because uh, basically I'm not good at reading. I know, man, I know. Uh. Because in case uh, from bad at spelling, well, it's because I am. I'm so sleep deprived. I should probably take a nap here. Okay, so so yeah, uh, apologies in advance in rain. I'm trying to hurry this recording up ASAP because uh, winds howling down, and I'm worried that I might get a power cut. Cockerel, shut the fuck up! So let's see what's up. Hey, exam results are out. Can't wait to see which ones I flopped. Probably all of them. Ooh, chemistry, I got a max one. Oh, that's Lewis. Wishful thinking. Hey! 55 out of 50, yeah, okay. Okay, nice, but which one did I flop this time? Uh, That one's Lewis's, right? When pigs fly, Mark, when pigs fly. Almost there. Okay, they get a 56. Hey! 36 out of 50! Huh, seems too good to be true. I know! Oh. Not mine, and never will be. Yeah, not touching that shit. Did I just really think I could a ace this? Don't peek at the names. Keep guessing. Well, it's definitely the 36 one. It's over 30. I mean, yeah, but that's fine. Okay, this one's Lewis's. Yep, yeah, go figure. This is my score in... Parallel Universe. Did I get a 40? Nope, come on. 36? Oh, this one's really mine. Cockerel, shut the fuck up! It calls it to us. Oh, Ryan! Up there, goddamn. Okay, 39! Cool, but where's this one that's below 30? Oh, yep, yeah, this one I fucked. Ah, there it is. Of course. Couldn't go without a flunk worthy score. Guess I better make up. For to miss flop. Apologies if you hear the wind in the background. Yeah, not bad. Nah, that's just a fluke. Wait, what was that? Oh. Oh, it's that piano recital thing. Oh, my dude hasn't got any sweep. What the fuck, dude? Get some sweep in ya! I think you can see the bugs under him. Wrong. Notes. They're lost in a hazy memory. Even the cockerels in my fucking memories. I have to remember them. Did my dude have long hair? Cockerel, you ruined a good moment and you had to ruin a fucking good memory. Hmm? 
Not this. Not now. I'll remember it. Try to remember. Please. Cockle, you're not helping! She's such a lovely, talented kid. Do you like it? Yeah, who are you though? Cockroach, shut the fuck up! Why are you always in my memory, Sam? Focus. Concentrate. <laughs> oh, hey, calf. She's gonna do something to him. What the hell? Going all in on this piano thing, huh? Thought you might want to tone it down. If you don't want to look like a... P ...posed idiot. You didn't have to do that. And even the cockles been dickhead. God, you nearly gave me a heart attack. I mean, I always get them almost half the time. Poor guy. Just... You wait, Calf. I'm telling you. Just look at those sun-killed eyes. Yeah, dude, why are you basically not getting any sweep? You absolutely need that energy, sugar. Surge. And whose fault do you think that is? Well, well. Don't you accuse me of your own wrongdoing. I told you, we go early today, and still, you choose to sleep late over some late-ass MMO. But who's the one responsible for dragging me into this stupid plan? Uh, right. I wonder who. Don't you... Hey, look! You still haven't answered my question. The results are out. Hmm, let's see. Just get enough sleep next time, please. God knows what other creep shit you'd be doing alone. Ugh, I was... Trying to tell a cockle to fuck off. Forget it. Yeah. Anyone will be here any moment now. Then they'd be like, Whoa, Mark. Is that you? That early? This early. Looks like you need another scare to wake you up. I've got... A 13 on art. The third scare would just be overkill. Hmm, are you sure? I'm wide awake now. Don't you? Worry. If you say so. What you, what you got there? Well, oh, it's all over this. Oh, god damn, calf! It's dense. Nothing surprising. Yeah, I mean, she fucking fucks her head in the books. I remember I doing this. I more or less like fucked almost everything except from art and ICT. Those were the two I did fucking well in. The rest, I fucked big time.
Because more or less, I'm not good at math. English was a eerie. Uh, sports, I I was doing all right-ish. I guess I should have went to football, but hey, that was my fault on that decision. But yeah, pretty bad. Uh, sorry. Uh, your definition of decent is what surprises here. Well, unlike you, my bars are high. To be fair, my bar is higher than yours. Mine's just upside down. Well, I guess they. I can live with this. What? Wow. What? What? Live with. Are you? Oh, I get it. We're playing the humble game. Aren't we? Uh. Well, Calf, look at these. These nuts. I mean, they're all average at best, except from art. I gotta give a credit on that. What do you think of my dreadful scores? Eh, uh, let me guess. The useful 30 and 34s barely passes. Barely passing. Maybe you've got lucky this time, and got a 36. I mean, his highest is a 49. I said, look at my scores. Fine. What? 30s? 30 what? Uh-huh. You saw that, right? Humbling. I did get a 36. What are you... What have you done? Were you sitting next to Lewis? Probably. Did you just cheat? I would never... How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? How dare you accuse me of such a thing? I... Unfortunately... Finally tried my hand at actually studying. Is that what the bag's on the eyes? How did you study? When? I didn't mean to bang break up. It just took two good hours of studying without distractions. All just a day before the exam. No biggie. Shit, man. Remember what I told you last time? About that sleeping genius in my noggin? Yeah. And just like that? Like a phoenix risen from the ashes. It has awakened from its eternal slumber. Jeez, why are you blushing? Is that it? Playtime's over. This is a fluke. And that cockerel is gonna fucking learn a fluke too. Teachers were forgiving. Exams were just too easy. No, they weren't. Period. Elma! I'd ideal, it wasn't easy at all. Oh, really? Yeah. It was... Oh, who else is coming? Who the fuck is that? Speaking of flukes... This stupid plan actually worked. Shh! Not yet. Lie low and keep it down. Remember, we have to observe a strong connection with the target. At the soonest. You weren't kidding. New students do come in early. True. Newbies like her would want to attract attention so they can mindful as much as they can before classes start are you really thinking that being the first new friend is worth sleeping early for that's correct you're getting a higher chance of winning her heart 
I read that online, by the way. Sometimes reading shit online usually just goes down to failure. Trust me, I have tried. Usually shit online doesn't work. Even sh even if you look up how-to guides on YouTube, when it comes to, like, swooning your way and talking to people, don't work. Take my advice. Just be yourself. Do not look up shit online. It will never help. Or get a wingman. Get a friend that can be your wingman. Those are my two choices. Be yourself, get a wingman. Or woman, depending. So why the heck did I get dragged into this if I was just about... If it's just about you. Duh. Because you're my backup plan. Yep, I'm the wingman. I'm the wingman. See, Calf? She uses me as a wingman. Wait, what? That wasn't part of the plan. Shh, quiet. Now what? So much for they want to attract attention. Trust me. She might be a mech one. I've seen this kind before. Quiet as a mouse. But once you get to know her, well, you'll be surprised. Yep, I know those types of people as well. Well, we'll see about that. Oh, hi. What's your name? Oh my, she's pretty. Did you see that? Yeah. And I can also see where she is headed. I know, right? We'll get together and become good friends. Then I'll ask her on a date. Then we'll watch the stars. Then we'll do whatever. Then do it in the movies. What the fuck? Do it do in the movies? Oh. Hate to break it to you, but this isn't Hollywood. <laughs> It's now another man. Here I go. Yep. Wingman on sideline. Great. Hey there. <laughs> She's acting so smug about it. Kate. Katie, right? Off to a great start. Um, I'm Catherine. Uh, jo Joyce. But... You can call me Calf. Uh, I'm the friendliest one you'll ever meet here. Uh, as you can probably tell, that's why I came in early. Uh, your name's Kate, right? It's kind of sounding like mine, you know? What a coincidence! I'm sure that means... We'll be good friends. Is, she, is, it, is that the thing? Is she giving me the finger? Ah, yes. I know that. Fe the feeling, my friend. Stuck transferring to a new school. I know. You'll get used to it. For sure. We are all nice around here. Especially me. Is she gonna flip the bird? No wonder you haven't had a girlfriend yet. But then, I'm the one to talk. So, um, welcome to Limson Ingrate School. This is Class 9 Pearl. Uh, Calf's at your service. She's losing it. Um, you must be the silent type, huh? You got you're giving a warning. I'm the polar opposite of the silent type if you keep talking. So it wouldn't be very nice. Very nice of you. If you kept that mouth shut. Thank you. Okay, bitch. I but I I said thank you, didn't I? No, you didn't. Even that, I've got a short memory. 
So... Welcome to Hollywood, eh? Cockroll, shut the fuck up! What's the problem? Cat got your tongue? Oh, should I say... Kate got your tongue? You dickhead! That shitty joke did not help at all! I've been st stripped from all my dignity! Didn't you see? I did. And it was fun. Well, let's see how... Who's laughing now? What the hell are you doing? I told you! You're the backup plan! Who said anything about that? Just face it. Now, go and talk to her. I had to use anime sound effects. It's not like I have any dignity to lose anyway. Uh... Sorry for the commo back, commo commotion back there. Cockroll, shut the fuck up, please! I'm trying to have a conversation! Thank you! That was just my friend who's, um... Too friendly. She's just like that sometimes. Oh, you get in the fist too. Look, I don't want to meddle in your affairs, but this plan sucks. I hope you have a good time here. This place sucks. Uh, I just want to welcome you. This place sucks, but it's got its moments. As example, I'm talking to a wall. This is pointless. I'm out. Wait. Go ahead. You're free to make a comeback. Did someone tell you? Uh, tell me what? About the... The... Never mind. Uh... Wanna talk about it? No. We gotta leave now. But... We just talked. Well, at least you got more, <laughs> more of a conversation than Cap did. Kind of. I'm not found of all this yapping. Okay. Name's Kate. If that helps, shut your mouth. Uh, I'm Mark. Nice to meet you. I guess. Just, just walk away, Mark. Just walk away. You got, you got somewhere good. Just piss off, fam. And that's our new classmate, folks. Hooray! Just, just, yep, just take the walk. You you can one-off Kate on this one. Man, I didn't know what just happened back there. But, but, that ain't fair. I'm the social butterfly here. N not you. I think twice about that title, if I were you. But, but, but just now? She even introduced herself. If you could even call it that. Now. Oh, someone's coming. Now that that mission has failed. Would you please let me take a nap? Oh, Mark. Oh, Ryan, it's you. Is that you? This early? Put a suck in it, Ryan. Hey, dude. It must be. Catherine, right? What up, Catherine? Bro, Ryan, just piss off, fam. Just don't do it. You're gonna get your ass beat. Yep, even Kate's basically backing the fuck up. Whoa. You too, Caff? Dude, why did you guys come in so early? Caff? 
Hello? Yo! Calf! Ah, <laughs> oh, shut up! My man's gotten denied! Oh, did you give me a foot one? Wake up, sleepyhead! It's lunchtime! Don't you want to play air piano again? Yeah. Finally! Rise and shine! Just how much sleep did you even get? One messy hour. One measly hour. Make it two. This, it's a good thing you got lucky today, Jinjin. What? You slept through three classes in a row. You know, just like Junjun over there. Oh. Principal son. I did. What? Why didn't anyone wake me up? Well... We tried, but... It was no use. You were in a deep sleep. And we couldn't even get the sleeping butterfly up. My boy was about to fucking drop a book on me. And no one wanted to kiss you. So yeah. What did the teacher say? They didn't want to kiss you either. I'm sorry. Um, I kissed my grades goodbye. That's where you got lucky, man. They didn't give a damn. At least for now. What a relief. I swear, just one more warning from Mr. Afko, or whoever the fuck's name is, and I'm out of here. He was in a surprisingly good mood. They say he got his ex-girlfriend back. Oh, good for him. Good for him. I'm telling you one last a week. <laughs> good for him. What about Miss Flores? What are you talking about? Art affair... Art's after lunch break. Hey, speaking of... What did you paint? Uh, paint what? You know, for our poster project. Our earth is sick. Don't be mean, be clean. No, oh, that's actually not bad. Shit. I know, it's so cl clinic, but man, did, but man, I did it all on my own, and I'm so proud of it. What do you think? Uh, I think, I think I'm in trouble. There's no way. Cramming this. This is flat out impossible. I have to, or I'm getting kicked out for reals. Say, now how many minutes do I have left? Seven minutes. Are you crazy? I've always been. I know, you're calm. But this is just insanity. Hey! My man's gone off to do a fucking last minute art project. Yep, here we go. I gotta dash my way to the supply store. I can do this. Oh, let me guess. Am I running? Uh, yeah, excuse me. Hi. Dodge left. Yeah, fuck you, Christmas tree. Principal, that guy is almost knocked over our tree. Gotta make my way. 
Oh my god, it's like a time trial thing. Slow down. Oh, fucking hell. Not my quarter pounder! I'll get you a quarter pounder! Oh, dude. I'm going to paint something so average grade and precious. If I knock flop scores off. Come on. Who's next? Swerve. Oh, I knocked over the books. Uh, I hate life. I know it. Ah, I got it. Just like splash paint around. And just like that, I'm the next full lock. Okay. Jump over. Oh shit, I jumped over that. Hey, come back here at once. I'm in trouble. Sorry, gotta go. Should have slid. Target locked, baby. We're almost there. Okay. Oh no. What are we doing out here? Jeez. Leap. I don't know. Oh, it's that new lass! Out of all the numbers from 1 to 30, I got a score of 14. <laughs> I don't know, I was- I panicked! I fucking panicked! I ruined everyone except from that guy. Ouch. Could this day get any worse? I mean, you owe someone a quarter pounder. Hey, Mark! Hey. Bell, my guy. What up? What's the last minute rush today? Need anything? Market, pen, paintings, Xanox. I did need something, but I don't think... I don't think I'm in a good shape to cram now. That girl isn't in a good shape as well, it seems. Uh, oh. I mean, she's doing a fucking paint, man. Gonna clean her up. You okay, miss? Oh, bro, you're dead. Urgh. Yeah, my bad. I'm sorry. Don't kill me. I'm covered in paint too. You! You monster! I don't need your hand. I have two, and I can stand on my own, okay? Hey, I... Um... What? What's your deal? Hey, just apologize. Sorry, but... I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to... Rush someone first day in this school? Okay, sure. Thanks, I guess. To be fair, you were blocking the hall. Right in the middle. I mean, you could. I know that, man, but, like, dude, just apologize and just leave it. I mean, you were in the wrong. You were. Wow. So, are you. Are we just totally ignoring the fact that someone was just ruthlessly bearing through the halls? I know. But, sorry. You're in the wrong... You're in the wrong too- She's not even in the fucking wrong! I lost my concentration for a moment there. You almost killed me! For Pearl's sake. For Pete's sake. Hey, I'm... Hey, that's some cold fall. Look at this mess! Look at me! I'm a mess! 
This is... This is so... Extremely to... To start... A brand new life here. Are you just gonna... Gonna mess... It up like that? What am I supposed to do? Get cleaned up? Whatever. I never want to see your face again. Great. Both of you. Principal's office. Now. Ooh, first day at school and you got sent to the principal? This dude's ratter than Scott Pilgrim. Unfortunately, we have extra uniforms for students. But, I'm going to probably leave things off here. I know this is basically short, but I just want to wrap this up in case basically enough I get a power cut. So, I'm going to end uh, things off here. So, if you did enjoy this video, be uh, sure to uh, leave a like. If you didn't, then uh, don't. I don't give a sass. However, though, if you are interested in joining the Rat Kingdom in any way, shape, or form, our link to our Discord server is in the description below. But, for question of the day, I would say, out of the two new students that Mark has probably met so far, who do you think is probably going to have more of a kindred spirit relationship with? Is it that girl? Or nearly enough, uh, Kate. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on that. But, uh, yeah. With that being said, hope you enjoyed. And as always, peace. DX is out.